Hello everyone and welcome to Airborne Kingdom, which is a game involving the construction of cities in mid-air. I like things that fly, and I do like city building games like City Skylines. So in theory, this should be a great game for me, but I'm not sure. I picked it up off of the Epic Store, it was on sale, it's newly released, and I also had the advantage of, because it's the Christmas slash New Year's sale, they gave a $10 coupon. Uh, so it was 10 bucks for me, and it's worth that much for sure. I mean, uh, I'll I'll definitely try it out at that price. So let's see. Let's begin. This is my first try in it, and we'll see how it goes. Tutorial is enabled. In a bygone age, a kingdom existed like no other. This kingdom did not anchor its power. This kingdom took to the skies. The Airborne Kingdom traveled to every kingdom on the ground, sharing knowledge, culture, and tradition. Its great council guided the lands through a golden age. Yet, long before even our elders can remember, the Airborne Kingdom vanished. The people sought to continue their harmony, but self-interest began to overrule. The land's three regions slowly isolated. Trade, travel, connections all unwound. Kingdoms contracted, and small settlements nearby were nearly wiped away. Bygone times turned to legend. But in the tapestry, we found instructions. A blueprint to remake the technology of the ancients. A prophecy to restore the Airborne Kingdom. There was but one belief we had wrong that day, though it proved vital. For such a finding was no chance at all. Okay, well, that's apparently the backstory. So, I, I was, as a kid, a fan of Castle in the Sky by Hayao Miyazaki, and, you know, that movie involved, obviously, a flying city, and, and robots, and robots. In fact, my interest in planes was largely formed by that movie, because it had all sorts of flying contraptions in it. And so we will see how this goes as far as flying cities are concerned. It's a different style, obviously. This is a Middle Eastern style flying city. That was a steampunk style flying city with robots and everything. So we'll see. All our painstaking efforts have succeeded. Our home flies, yet this is only the beginning. Uh, the Ancient's Vision. I get the feeling that they might have been a little bit wrong about the efficiency of this situation, but let's, let's just go on with it. We need to find every kingdom upon the lands and befriend them as common allies. We also need inhabitants to form our great council. Start with the kingdom of Rutula. Not far from us, the only kingdom we know. First, we must build houses and find supplies. Well, I mean, to be honest, we've already gotten pretty far if we've got this much, huh? I mean, honestly, this is already pretty impressive. So, right. Build housing block, I suppose. Costs uh, five trees. We've got 22 trees. Um, so, I didn't really uh, give instructions about how to build things, but they're walking on this plank here, so I guess if I put it like this... Oh, it doesn't look like... Entrance not connected to paths. It looks like it's connected to paths. I mean, they're walking around. 
R to rotate. I mean, this isn't gonna work. Maybe I should make some extra paths first then. I mean, they're walking on those. Why to change housing block? Oh, we can change styles. There aren't too many styles though. Okay, escape cancels. It's going down a bit. Okay, path. Path. Let's lay down some. No tilt issues. Oop. Let's just put some pathing here and put some pathing. Why does it not line up with the other thing? Put some pathing over there. All right. Did we have to repair these paths? Because I see that these are sort of very clear. And then these are so, uh, not quite finished, it looks like. Maybe we need to finish those paths or something. So now we can build this. So I feel like it's tilting, even though it said no tilt problems. Let's put one here. Maybe I should have built a different style. So how many of these did we need? Okay, well, it's got a basic controls thing here. A left mouse button. Hold the right mouse button while moving your mouse to rotate the camera. Okay, Q and E is possible. W, A, S, and D to move the camera. The middle mouse button is also an option. C to recenter on the town center. People and work. Okay, you can see the amount of people. Nine that have joined you. On the left is the number of people, on the right is the number of housing blocks. Okay, so we need seven more. Gosh, they each need one? Each person requires one housing block. Jeez. Inhabitants with no specifically assigned task- we'll just pretend that they mean families. No specifically assigned task will build any available construction. So, the nine idle workers are automatically available for that business. Buildings and tilt. Any buildings must be connected to the town center via paths. These walkable platforms also act as sturdy connections between buildings. Housing blocks clump together in 2x2 two two squares, okay? But that clump must have some connections to a path. Later constructions may have similar clumping properties. Pay careful attention to tilt as adding too much weight to one side or the other will tip your kingdom. <laughs> Uh, which may annoy your population and slow you down. Uh, I'll try and play it serious this time, but messing around with our inhabitants, it's sort of like in, uh, say, Skylines when you deliberately introduce mm, sewage into a population for amusement. Anyway, you may be up in the skies, but you still need to gather resources from the ground. Uh, your people can reach these resources with a hangar building, which contains planes. Uh, hangar should be one of the first buildings you construct. Well, now you tell me. We've only got 12 wood, so we better have enough wood for a hangar, huh? 10. Well, good thing we were warned. Ooh, this is gonna... I mean, are you sure this is not gonna tilt me? It says no tilt issues. I guess we have a lot of... Gimbal? Or something? Oh, well, what was that just now? Anyway, um, so... Alright, hangar it is. It's your f well, I don't know how it's tilting, to be honest. It's got a ramp. It's like a catapult sort of thing. Oh, this has its own paddles, too. Pretty fancy. So, as far as gathering resources is concerned, we've got resources there. 38 remaining, about two per trip. Okay, well, I'm gonna assign workers to collect these resources. Are they gonna launch? I'll assign three. No, having assigned three, it says six idols, so that makes sense. Seven aircraft are available here. What's this two up required? 
Customize motifs. Oh wait, there's a plane going. Don't be all fancy, just get the wood. Oh, uh, and we're getting 16.2 per hour. It says... Movement. Your kingdom can move, yes. Simply right-click right -click anywhere on the land. Okay, well, here we go. Our forward propulsion is that little propeller. Guess it makes sense. Doesn't seem like we're getting, gonna get any quicker than two per trip anyway. Okay, well, we still have people who need build uh, houses and all, so let's do that. Um, let's change the style. Oh, that's the other one. Let's make this one then. Oh, that's six total. I feel like a road over here would be good. Path. Well, we're gonna need more wood. So far, pretty simple. Well, yeah. Uh, we can prepare the construction, but... No, somehow we're building it. It didn't seem like we had the wood, but we built it. Almost there as far as housing units. How's, how's the forest going? Wow, we really depleted resources. We're horrible. We're just... I mean, it's not, not sustainable in any way. It is horrible stuff. Well... This is how it is. We just wantonly use up the whole place. Well, there's a that isn't that tapestry ruin. I thought that was another kingdom. Unremarkable ruin is half covered in sand. Okay, well, it doesn't look like we need that to worry about that. But why does that say 46 there? Oh, there's numbers here. There's eight here. Six. What does it mean? Is it our distance to it? Four? Oh, that's the remaining amount of forest land. So this has 46 something? It's 46 from the oasis for water. But the forest just has 32. Okay, let's start collecting. Let's let's uh, try and keep some trees there. Let's go zero on that. You know, it's got two trees left. Not the best, but you know, we'll try. We'll try to keep some so that it gets replanted and everything. So water. They haven't told us about water. We've got 11. 0.5 per hour needed by workers. We're gonna use up everything on the ground very very quickly. Let's start replenishing water supplies though. We seem to have 30 capacity. Food we don't seem to be too bad on. Okay let's build some more path and make sure we finally have that one extra housing block. Hope they don't mind being right next to the airport. That's not a great way to have them land, though, I gotta say. Hmm. Okay. How do we attract more people, anyway? Map. So that's a tapestry ruin. I guess we'll find more things as we go along. There's not much on our map right now. Researching new buildings. We need an academy. That's our R&D building. But we'll need 30 trees, 30 wood, and 5 people, apparently. Okay, how depleted is this getting? 20 left. Um, coal deposit. Well, we'll no need coal eventually. Where is the coal? Lift. Okay, uh, so we've got 
27 out of 40 lift is being used. Speed. Because of the drag on our buildings, we can only move at 57% of our fastest possible speed. Okay. Adobe, iron, glass, canvas, resource storage. I don't even see where coal is. Oh, that's right in front here. <laughs> totally missed a very obvious thing right in the middle. Uh, 23 with storage for 30. Well, I guess we don't need to rush on it. Resources do seem plentiful. Oh, food is from the thicket. Yeah, we, uh, small settlement. Look for migrants to recruit. Yes, okay, so that's apparently how we do that. Um, excited to join, excited to join, excited to join. Dalutanak. Okay. Do we have to pay to recruit? No. Umno Ganem, sure. We'll only pick one Danu. I mean, it's no good having two Danus, is there? Okay, uh, we'll leave 12 trees there. That seems reasonable. That's a thicket. Where's some more trees? There's more trees over there. There's 73 trees. That's too far. Let's start moving. Go. Go over there. Oh, look at our speed go. Goes up to uh, 57. Okay, we don't need any more water. Stop trying to get water. No, that didn't mean you have to turn. Keep going that way. That's to sort of rotate to have that slow mini propeller go. Well, we can certainly build the housing already. I mean, we we really need the academy though. I feel like I'll build a path first. And. That's where the hangar is, so I'll build the academy on this side. Okay, so we'll have research. Still too far, huh? Don't know if there's any indication of what the range of this is. There's a thing there. Okay, uh... Research tree. Hold on, let me see. Is that that is right down, down there? Okay, first let's uh, secure our new resources first and then worry about the research tree, shall we? It was 72 before and now it's 73, so I guess the trees come back. That's interesting to note. Hmm. Okay, now we can harvest. Now this fluorescent ponds, strange colors, colors, uh, we can uh, use the dyes from that to customize our buildings. Um, Hilliet Roten's home, customize motifs. Let's go with a daybreak motif. And that one, I don't know. Eh, uh, okay, I don't care anymore. <laughs> it's dark now, it's nighttime. Okay, so... Alright, let's see the R&D. Adobe Kiln. Workers don't like living near the Adobe Kiln because of the flumes... Uh, fumes, not plumes. <laughs> uh, well, I guess that's a thing to research. Two hours, wow, we got really fast R&D. Okay, we need two more housing units. I'm gonna sort of plan our roadways a little bit better. So got that going. Uh, definitely we're gonna put the housing units on this side.
I think that's all we need. Average satisfaction level on the top bar. Jubilant. They're jubilant. Uh, okay. Alright, we've got all the housing units. We can also destroy houses if necessary. Well, let's assign more to that forest for now. This uh, doesn't seem to be any limit. Oh, uh, there's a total resource storage limit, but not for individual resources here. So we've only got room for 100 resources of all types combined. Well, except for the coal. Coal is its own special thing. Now well, let's start grabbing some food while we can. And yeah, I don't need the fluorescent ponds, it's fine. <laughs> okay, okay. I got it, I got it with the fluorescent ponds. Coal deposit. Yeah, let's get a little bit of coal. We've got seven planes. Look at all the planes will go. So we've got one on the coal deposit. Nope. And three on the forest. Um, increased efficiency by 33% of the Adobe Kiln, I suppose. I don't know. I don't know if I need it. Basics. Let's look at basics. Housing block. Less food per household. Um, stack up two stories. Now that's more like it. That, that'll be much more efficient. Increase available planes to eight. Well, after that research, we can't research two at the same time. So, yeah, let's focus on getting double story buildings first. I like that. We can increase our maximum possible speed. Just in case it's going too slow. Increase coal storage, that could be useful. So there's the, those are the basics, and then there's resource storage. Fuel silo, water tower, warehouse. So, warehouse is researched, water tower is researched, food silo is researched. But I didn't see us being able to build those. Oh, they're, they're, they're also in under the categories. Okay. So, if we want a food silo, we can put that on. Warehouse for all resources, that's the 100 there, I guess. And then a water tower. We're doing okay, though, for now. No lift buildings or propulsion or desires built yet. Only one of our citizens is idle. Okay, we've really uh, done a number on this forest. Um, let's see, where's... Oh, there's another thing there. Coal deposit. No, I don't really want a coal deposit. Deposit. I want another forest. So we don't fully deplete this one. Quartz mine. I don't know. I guess that's for glass. Hmm. Well, it might be a thing to head towards anyway. Let's see over here. Is there anything? What is this? I can't tell. What's this? A relic ruin. It's too far to send a worker to. See any trees over here, though. But we're not actually pressed for more trees. Oh, there's a lot of trees over here. Okay, they'll automatically stop gathering if it goes out of range. That's good. They don't get, like, confused or something. Okay, we can send the worker to the Relic Ruin. And I'll send one to the quartz mine. And all workers are now busy, so let's stop with that forest. And start with that forest. Oh, it's still too far. I wonder why the coal is in yellow, because we got too much? 
or yeah, limited storage. We should have a coal thing. Hold. Hmm. Storage. It doesn't have a coal one specifically. You suppose a warehouse will include the coal or not? Well, let's see. I'm gonna put a warehouse like that. And I'm gonna put a path going this way through. Okay. We gotta eventually need more lift, but we're not there yet. Okay, no, it did not increase our coal capacity. It increased our resource storage by only 25. So it's not, uh, not a huge thing, actually. Food. I don't think we need a food silo yet. Well, we've researched an adobe kiln. I don't know... We need to put the adobe kiln away from people. They don't like being near an adobe kiln. So I'll put it... Okay, that person will not like that. So I'll put it on this side of the warehouse and it'll be interesting to see how our balance goes. That person still doesn't like it. Alright, like that then. We're leaning. We are leaning. A uh, building placement. Yeah, they don't enjoy living near certain things, that's fine. Okay, we need to create propulsion buildings. Yes. Panel bullet hover. Hovering your mouse along the top bar will show information panels with more insights. Okay, oh, like this stuff. We've got a two degree front tilt. It says no tilt issues, despite having a two degree front tilt. All workers bu busy. Well, I guess they're building stuff. Whoops, let me recenter. Um, what's that? That's the quartz mine. Um, you know what? Let's. Oh, well, quartz doesn't actually replenish based on. You know how much quartz, quartz is left. It doesn't build on past quartz the way trees work. Um, we need to find a settlement, don't we? To find more people. Well, maybe we should just... I, I don't think clicking on the map makes us move. But basically, we want to go over there. Find new places, I think. Well, it's sort of... Well, it looks good overall. Very fancy artwork and everything. Our max speed is now only 44% of what it could be. I'll wait until we research this one, which is in another two hours, and then we'll research some propulsion. It's all question marks, so I don't know how that works. And lift is separate from propulsion. Is there any need to... wait, no? I was wondering if we have to unlock something to get these in particular. Or whether they just remain question marks until we... Until we unlock them. Missing clay. Yeah, we do need to find some clay, huh? What's that? Okay, we gotta send a worker to that. We need more water? No, not yet. Quartz. I mean, we sent something to get quartz. We've got quartz, but we don't have something to make anything out of quartz. There's clay. 
Housing block upgraded. Housing blocks stack up to two stories. Okay, open resource and it doesn't you see these lifting things or propulsion things, they're just question marks. So apparently we can't build those yet, but how do we eventually get there? How do we research something so that we can build those things? Got an adobe kiln researched. And as far as I know, I'm stuck. Let's see. Regain more resources when moving or destroying buildings. Increase coal storage by 100%. Increase maximum speed. Less food per household. Less water per household. Available planes. Resource gather rate. None of these have anything to do with build, uh, finding, unlocking this stuff. Adobe Kiln is there, but the rest of this is all mysterious. Storage, warehouses, water towers, food silo stuff. Nothing tells me how to unlock this stuff. Okay, let's go over here so we can access the clay. Okay, now we can. Let's just get some clay. Oh, there's a big place there. Fields of Agromas. Surrounded by tilled land, though the fields sit withered and untended, we may seek audience with their queen to understand their plight and encourage their allegiance to our cause. Well, might as well speak to the queen, I think. Mind is trouble, water tables underneath Agromas have stopped flowing, turning all nearby water brackish. Her crops, once the pride of the empire, can barely feed her own people. This underground water is churned by a pump built by the ancient airborne kingdom at the foot of the flow. It may need repair, but any brave party she sends cannot cross the barrens to find it. Ah, I think flying over might help. Marks the pump's rumored location, so if we can fix it, then maybe she'll join us. Ask of treasures. Ask of technologies from ancient times. Pay for the time to remove them. Okay, so this is where we get the uh, the other buildings. We find them thanks to the people we meet. Because, yeah, it wasn't from the tech tree. Okay, water condenser. Okay, I understand the water condenser. A minaret, even. Uh, okay. Pay for the time to remove them, but we may be able to learn something if we research them after. So, did we get the blueprints? Is that part of our re uh, tech tree now? No. We need to actually pick up uh, a version of them. I'm not entirely clear what's going on there. Okay, okay, so we can purchase for the stuff that we found at the relic. We got seven of these relic points. Fresh plot of land. We can have a flying plot of land, but we'll have to purchase for ten of those. A fan to keep us aloft. This seems most important. And a propeller seems really super important, too. The glass smelter. The others are more expensive. Let's get the glass smelter since we have the stuff. Okay, barter our resources. Looks like if we only are desperate, they're not going to be a fair price. Okay, that's fine. We're going to just get stuff. Okay, so we were working on the clay deposits, and there's a quartz mine there, and a thicket. Okay, but we can build those buildings, or no, we have to research those buildings now. Oh wait, no lift buildings researched. Oh wait, no, we have to, okay, yes. So we can research a fan now. For two hours. We're going to need, uh, what are those blocks? We're going to need adobe for it. And propulsion here, the propeller needs adobe too. So 
So, good thing we have the Adobe Kiln. We will need it. What's that? That's a thicket. Food is not a problem yet. Small settlement. I guess we should recruit more people. Wofu. Excited to join. Okay. Recruit Wofu. Juvo. Fine. I'll go with two for now. I don't want to overdo things. Okay, so let's find a place for these two. I've left a little space there. I think I probably should not have. Uh, maybe... Yeah, I look, they said two by two, so... If I put one here, it's fine for them, right? How's that lean coming along? <laughs> uh, two degrees still. Kingdoms and allegiances. To create the legendary airborne kingdom, we must ally with all 12 kingdoms throughout the lands, perform tasks to help them, and as the airborne ki old airborne kingdom would have done, remake the prosperity from the times of the ancients, perhaps allying, we will get something in return. To completely rebuild that glorious airborne kingdom, we you must also have a population of 100 people. Okay, now we're getting to it. I was wondering what the goals were. And so now it's very clear. Twelve kingdoms, they'll have their own tasks, and we need 150 people. We've got 13 right now. Okay. Alright, you know what, uh, for our first video, I'm gonna pause it right here, and we're gonna save. And I'll see whether I think this is worth continuing. Uh, you guys can tell me whether you think it is as well. Flying Flying cities are not, you know, it's interesting. I don't know if I like the fact that it's not open-ended. But, you know, ultimately there's a limit to how much it can do. We haven't gotten into serious trouble, even though when you look at it... Well, I guess because this is so big, the, cent the town center is so big, that it works out. But, you know, we're definitely leaning forward here. <laughs> um... Yep, anyway, interesting concept, and certainly good looking. And But for now, I'll leave it here. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.